Hey everybody, so I know it's been a while since I posted a video and that's exactly why I'm here. I just kind of wanted to create a check-in of sorts and just kind of talk about what I've been up to and what I'm kind of trying to do and what I've been thinking about. So basically the last couple of weeks I've had to work weekends, mostly just Saturday, but when you have to work like that extra day and you only have one day off, it's sort of you kind of need that day to just decompress and honestly i feel like i haven't done anything on those days i've just been sitting around just wanting to do stuff and then just being too tired to do anything so in spite of that like i've still been kind of keeping up with the game playing you know whatever paying attention to the news and but there's kind of been some things that i've been thinking here as i kind of i'm kind of using my account and i'm trying to do certain content there's just certain things i've been thinking so let's just get into that and so the first thing that i have been thinking is that my units feel like they're out of date and i think that's pretty much what the game developers want us to feel they've just been releasing a lot of 100 cost units limited units etc we all know what's going on and i honestly feel like my units feel out of date with the exception of a couple of newer units that i've pulled obviously but i feel like for example even with pissarro I feel like if I go up against a uh, flag bearer Glacella, I'm pretty much done for her because she has incredible accuracy and she removes courage. So there's really nothing I can do about that. So I kind of just am sort of thinking of like, okay, do I need to change my pulling strategy? Do I need to build some of my units, which I haven't built? And, you know, those are kind of the things I, I want to talk about here. So I've kind of made... I don't know, I kind of just wrote down some goals. This took me like a few minutes, basically. And the first thing I want to go over is selection quests. So my selection quests, I haven't quite finished them. And I just recently finished them. Let me actually just go into it now. Let's, let's go into the missions, actually. I just recently finished them up to all up to mission 10 so at least i feel very happy about that but what i kind of noticed is that if you go into the missions here uh, by the end of these missions well not only do you get like vizier and like all these materials you get some blossoms but i actually realized that you get these ur 10 times six uh, tickets it's really only one ur but it's a 10 times summon so there's a chance for more but that's actually a pretty good motivation for me to want to finish these and I really, so far I've only done up to 13, I've only done fire, I perfected it, so I'm happy with that. But really for these, you just have to beat level 13, I know that's kind of easier said than done. You just have to beat level 13 three times, or not even three times, just one time. You just have to beat it, you don't have to get the missions. And I'm sort of wanting to make that a goal, is just to kind of finish out up to, at least up to 13. I know some of these go up a little further. But finish out at least until 13 and sort of get these out of the way and get these um, tickets that I can use to pull on. Hopefully get some new URs that I don't have. Okay, so aside from selection quest, uh, I've sort of been focusing on maxing out my units. So there's I have a lot of units that are, you know, like level 115, like maybe a little lower, 107, things like that. And there's some units that I have to job level 25, but I just never finish building them out. So let's kind of see if we can go into that right now. Uh, I, at this point, I do have a lot of them built out to level 120. And it's it's been good. And I came to the wrong screen here. It's been good because like the more I see, like it takes me forever to kind of scroll through the 120s to get to the ones that I haven't quite leveled up to the max yet. So. Here I am, I'm kind of up to here. If you look at my progress bar down here, it's a, it's a good third of the way there, right? So, kind of just working on these units that are like between level 115 and even some of the 99ers, I just got some of these to 99, like farm for example, I could get her to 115, and I think I will do that considering the guild raid is up and running. She's gonna be an awesome unit for that. So that's kind of another thing that I'm just focusing on because there's a lot of units here that I've kind of just neglected and I think they can do the job that I've been kind of feeling that I want in this account. So I definitely am going to go for some of these units. 
for example Zazan here might be a good one Dark Fina from for my account the way I have it might be a good one farm as I mentioned I need to work on Aerith and you know Skahal there's a, a few good ones here that I could find use for granted there's a lot of ones here that are not super useful and I've also just and you know little Lila is probably a good one that I could work on but I've also just finished kind of getting uh, over on here to level 115 so he's getting there and also Jaden I just got him to 120 so I think he's gonna be a really really good one for me and so what I've kind of been doing as I kind of mentioned here sl the slime quest is really awesome I'm surprised it's still running um, as they mentioned th to the, in the stream and that's why I'm saying thanks stream uh, you actually get a lot of experience from this and I've been just bringing people from like 100 to 120 or from like 80 81 I think is the the minimum to 100 all while preserving like my rainbow cubes so I think it's actually been pretty good so that's been actually pretty helpful with uh, getting that stuff there all right so then the next part I want to talk about is my midterm goals or medium goals I'm not really sure how to phrase that any better but this is definitely thanks to Orin J's video about trust loans and honestly guys for me let's go back into the game again for me trust loans have been something that once they came out I sort of built up a decent amount of them I put them on specific TMRs and then I really haven't done anything much else with that so let's kind of take a look here I, and I went into the wrong menu once again. Take a look here at my trust masters. So, for example, right, um, I have like basically two physical trust masters and two magic trust masters, and then I have Cecil's TMR, which is basically just kind of a generic one. So, if we take a look at the ones that I have, so for example, Ibarra's hairpins. I'm not even using all you are so I'm like wondering like why I'm sucking so much at everything I'm not even using all you are's and if we go I'm, I don't even know how to get go into these trust zones right now I think you go into trust zones for example let's just even go into bells here this I, I pretty much just leveled this up recently so let's kind of go into this one right this first of all this is an MR so I'm using an MR but like I don't even have like abilities I haven't even worked on abilities I haven't leveled anything up and so after watching RNJ's video I was just like man what am I doing using these base uh, trust loans I really need to step my game up because that's probably the reason why I feel like I'm lagging behind now granted they are in level 20 so that was a whole nother ordeal for me because I didn't realize you can convert the gold adamantites to bronze and <laughs> once i realized that i was like oh my god i feel like an idiot but yeah they are at least level 20 and i do have them tempered like in a decent way where it's just like okay ap and magic you know th i think this is a magic one so ap and magic so at least those are what's maxed out so if i'm going to use a magic user i probably want those two things sort of max not maxed out but you know on the higher end of things so i feel happy about that at least so in terms of forging i don't know yeah in terms of shards i don't really have a lot of shards like i do have enough of the lower rarity shards but i don't really have that much that many like ur shards and that's something else that i kind of noticed if we go into the mog shop here uh i haven't really been focusing on these high score challenges and honestly guys it's just a lot of work I've been catching up on stuff so but look at this I have so many trust stone or of these metals here that I could be using that I just haven't used so that's something I sort of just need to work on so that's how that's been so I mean granted I have been if you look if we go back here to my missions I kind of just haven't claimed this stuff yet but I have been working on the story. I'm almost there. I really need to finish that bingo board. Uh, so I'm right there. I made it to scene four. So I just need to finish scene four. And I'll be able to finish that bingo board is what I think. So I have actually played through all these missions. But I haven't watched the story. I just haven't had time to do it all. So I plan to just watch 
like bulk watch through all the story at the same time so that should be fun uh, and i i think i need to start from part one interlude like halfway through and then the entire book too so that's gonna be great to do all right so yeah midterm goal here is to focus on the trust stones and honestly after watching that orange a video it just seems like it shouldn't be that hard it should it's actually doable it feels doable right and again i don't have to go for the max uh bonuses but i think as long as i go for you know you know if i need attack but as an example attack up right if i get that on my on one of my trust stones that'll be it'll be all the more the more better and if i can max it out that's going to be all the more better convert all my tra trust stones to ur and in general just build more ur trust stones because i don't really have, have that much and i just feel like a lazy man for not having built all that stuff granted part of it is just not having time all right so yeah and then the last thing here is i kind of want like the whole goal of this is to do some pvp so now i did do pretty decently in the class match i did want to record some of those videos i just didn't I, I did record one but i just didn't post it um i did do decently well with my team i was using delita revelka and i think it was terra and that team did pretty good could have done better if i had better trust zones and stuff like that uh there's still some armors and accessories i have to work on so that's kind of what I have in mind. I just kind of working on that kind of stuff to get myself ready for the PvP. And I forgot to mention, thanks to the tournament, like there were some really good matches in the tournaments and some good strategies and stuff like that. And even just watching around YouTube, there's some good tournament stuff. And it's kind of making me realize that I've been missing out on that part of the game and sort of just as somebody that makes videos here um i feel like partially to um whenever i want to make a video i, I kind of get halfway through it i'm just like ah, eh, people don't really want to see this i'm just like man if i if i was just better in pvp i could make the type of videos that i do want to make I, granted i do want to make other kinds of videos as well not just pvp but i think when it comes to pvp um a lot of the the pve stuff in the game granted the guild raid is awesome um but a lot of the pve stuff in the game it's just I, I don't know it's just not really like video friendly anymore like i, I feel like people are getting tired of s certain things so I, I think i'm just gonna like go to try and work on a little bit more pvp okay so that's pretty much it and just to kind of talk about something slightly different, um, I so I've been living in Japan, and one of the things I realized here is uh, time is very valuable here in Japan. Uh, people work like crazy, and I don't mean that they work hard, it's just that they work a lot of time. People are, are here in Japan, the culture is that you're expected to work until like 7 p.m. Uh, I see teachers that stay after me, I don't really know what time they go home. But what I hear is like 7 p.m. And all of these teachers get to work like way, way before me. So probably not way before me, like maybe half an hour before me. And I get in at, at like 8.20 a.m. So yeah, guys, uh, one of the things I learned here in Japan is time is very valuable and you don't have a lot of time. So it's important to make the best use of the time that you can. So that's kind of what I want to do with myself and my life um sort of related to that i ended up getting a new phone so this is actually just a budget android phone this is the samsung a13 if anybody is actually interested it's the samsung a13 it's a budget phone it was 150 us dollars and then like 20 30 dollars for shipping to japan so but it's actually been a pretty good phone in terms of using it for the visions uh, it's an oldish phone, but it runs the game decently. Uh, for some reason, the game works really well, but the menus are really crap. It takes a while in the menus. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but it's been a pretty good phone so far. So I like it. Uh, I'm coming off of uh, iPhone. So one of the major things in this is just being able to have an SD card and just have a lot of memory. Uh, 
storage memory and you know honestly oh another thing is the battery and honestly i just needed a change from ios because i feel like i'm way too much into apple and then another thing here is on my computer i actually got more ram so that was another like i think it was like 50 bucks and then like 30 dollars shipping so but i had 16 gigs of ram and then i started to realize like if i'm going to be running blue stacks all day long i kind of need more ram like i thought 16 was a lot when i first got it but i definitely needed more and nowadays i'm trying to run blender and i'm trying to run unity for game development so i kind of have a lot of stuff open at once so i ended up getting 16 more gigs of ram literally the exact same ram that i already had um so i've kind of after doing that i realized that i really only needed like maybe two more gigs but now that i've got 16 more gigs and it wasn't even that expensive uh, i now have like enough ram that should last me uh, let's just say a few more years because years are very short in terms of computer lifespan so yeah all right so just to talk a little bit more about the game stuff that's going on uh quick little review or like thoughts uh the new unit perrine she seems pretty good oh she's not even on the banner anymore it's just the vc and i actually think i missed out on her doing her starter quest so oh well i guess i'll catch it next time if it comes back around oh i have two two, two pull tickets here so let me go ahead and use these and then okay but yeah guys uh i didn't pull for her she not necessarily my favorite type of character and the summon is not working okay she's not my favorite type of character story-wise so i just didn't really feel the urge to pull on her i am kind of excited to have strike units because i feel like we've been waiting for like strike to be to make a difference but it just hasn't so i'm kind of just happy that she is a good strike unit so that's pretty much all I have to say on that. But when it comes to like these new Warrior of the Crystals and like upcoming units, I'm kind of starting to think that my account, like I've said, my units feel out of date. And while granted, I have been falling on all the fire units and I feel like my fire team is feeling like really good. I kind of feel like I need to vary it up a little bit. So I'm thinking for the future, I definitely still want to pull for Yuffie and her card and probably what is it dark ifrit uh but i think after that i think i'm just gonna be a little bit more flexible i know for full metal Al alchemist we are getting another fire unit but it seems like she's good he's gonna be pretty close to terra not not saying that they're gonna be exactly the same but he seems like he's going to be similar enough where I don't feel the need to pull, to go hardcore and pull for him. Um, and when it comes to Full Metal Alchemist, I think the other units look cooler. Uh, like physically, like visually look cooler. Like the dude with the mustache, the robot dude. I don't know a lot about Full Metal Al Alchemist, guys. I just, it's, I just chose to watch different animes, I guess. I didn't get to watch Full Metal Alchemist. But a lot of the other units look a little cooler to me. So I might decide to just pull on some of those units instead of pulling for Roy. So again, guys, I don't really know what's in the future for my account. But I just really know that I feel like I'm out of a, out of date with certain elements. Definitely for wind. Um, I know Earth is kind of lagging behind a little bit. But Earth was going to be like my like third type, third or fourth type. But it just kind of, you know, isn't everything that it needs to be right now. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I'm kind of lacking in, in different types, especially wind. Mostly wind, guys. Um, lightning, I think I'm pretty good. Water, I definitely feel out of date. Light and dark, I feel pretty okay with considering there's so many units. But yeah, I kind of just want to have a better balance of units and not just go for fire. I think going for like the one element is definitely a good strategy, especially if you have 
light and dark that you can mix in. But I think it, at a certain point, you need to kind of start diversifying. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. All right, guys, I've already blabbed enough for one video. This has been 20 minutes already. Didn't mean for this to be this long, but I guess I just had so many things to say. Um, all right, so let me just end it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.